bike project, which is seven inch rim that can be replaced in splendor and discovered by bike. Build the AC motor has three phase winding and all sensor. You can see these three wires blue, yellow, and green are of main phase winding. And for the sensor, there are five terminals black and red are for the power supply. It's required the 5 volt power. Hole sensor are there. Three hole sensor are placed at 120 degree in this inside this VLDC motor. And when we apply the 5 volt, it will give the three signal green, yellow and blue. So we will take the three signal with respect to this black ground, ground and green, ground and yellow and ground and and we will apply the 5 volt to red and black. This is how we can get output of sensor and accordingly we can take the decision which phase and where we need to apply the supply voltage. Let will check the sensor out. Let's see how we can fill the whole sensor inside this 2 kilowatt VLDC motor. As we have discussed, we have an output of all sensor over here. Five terminals are there, five wires are there. The red and black wire are for supplying the 5 voltage. So we need to supply the 5 volt to the whole sensor. It will supply 5 volt to each three whole sensor. And output of three whole sensors are here with the yellow, blue and green wire. So this output we will measure with reference to this black ground and voltage will change according to the magnet position. So magnet is fixed on the rotor. So magnet will rotate with the rotor and all sensor are fixed inside the stator part and the stationary part all sensor are fixed. So when we rotate the wheel, the magnet will go far from all sensor and come near to the all sensor. So it will change the voltage across the output of all sensor. So let's use the simple multimeter we all are having. How can we measure the whole sensor output? We will apply the 5 volt from this power supply currently, but in actual that 5 volt is come from your controller. Whatever control you are using, it converts the input voltage to the 5 volt is to supply to the whole sensor and output is used to switch the phase. So we will first connect the ground. The ground is connected to this plug directly. Let us apply this is 5 volt and this positive is connected to this then 5 volt is connected to so out of any 3 you can use any one to observe the voltage you can see voltage will be observed over here you can see currently 2.4 volt that means magnet is very nearby this particularly, this particular all sensor. So when we rotate it, you can see voltage is changing like this, reduced to 0. Now again we rotate, again it comes to 2 volt, 2.5 volt, and same direction we are keep continuous rotating, it will keep 1 0, 1 0, so 2.5, 0. 2.5 when position is fixed, voltage will be in this 2.5 0. So, this is how we can check the voltage that is using all sensors into the back. Now, let's stop the all three all, all sensors output are connected to the multimeter. How they differ from each other at particular position. So I will start the 5 volt supply. 5 volt supply is applied to this whole sensor and output are there. You can see at this particular position, one output is 2.4, it goes to 2.4, this is 0. When I rotate slightly, 2 are 0, this is 2.4. This is 2.4. Other two are zero. Again, rotate slightly. 
Now this is 2.4, this is 2.4 and this is 0. So you can imagine this is combination of 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is how physically we use to represent the output, but actually analog is 2.4, 2.4 in 0. This is 1, 1, 0. And according to this output, we are going to take the decision which phase we need to uh, fire, or which phase we need to analyze. 0, 1, 1. Since we rotate fast, we can see voltage will be changed. And each 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 3 voltage output will be changed accordingly at particular voltage. 